Hi everyone, in this video I will teach you how to create and complete a UCTAP account. UCTAP is designed for use by students to track their progress toward meeting minimum UC requirements and major preparation. It can be used for all nine UC campuses. UCTAP is a place to enter your coursework, grades, and plans. Your counselors have access to it and UC admission staff do as well. It is a great tool for you to use to help make sure you are on track to transfer to any UC campus. It is even better because your UC TAP account becomes your UC TAG account if you do choose to tag to one of the six participating campuses. Additionally, it imports academic information to the UC application. Okay, so let's get started. From your browser, go to uctap.com. You want to create an account and enter your information such as your name, email, birthday, and more. Agree to the terms and click save. I have already completed the steps, so I will log into my UCTAP account. You will see that it is split into three sections. They are about me, academic information, and my transfer plan. And you must complete all the sections. Demographic information is optional, but by answering these questions, you may be eligible for additional resources. More importantly, the next section, Support Program Involvement, is your opportunity to tell UC admissions about any programs that you have participated in or are currently participating in. This is really important because UC is not allowed to know the ethnicity or race of applicants. When you select one of the following support programs, such as Emoja, UC admission readers will know that you needed and received additional support and resources. The next section I will cover is the school's attended section. Here you must enter all the campuses that you have attended after high school. If there was any period of time you were not enrolled in a college or university, you must select yes here and provide an explanation. For example, if you had to work or you traveled. This is important because UC wants to make sure you do not attend another school pre not previously listed. This helps to keep track of all completed credits. Let's move on to coursework. Here you need to list all the classes you have taken and grades you received regardless of whether or not they were transferable. For example, I withdrew from the first calculus class I took so I selected a W, but I repeated it the following session and got a B. If you have a gap in your education prior to your transfer term, you will have to explain it right here. Moving on, in the exam section, you will add AP test courses or any other test you took. Moreover, my transfer plan is where you can select the term you plan to transfer and to which campuses you're interested in. Moreover, my transfer plan is where you select the term you plan to transfer and select which campuses you're interested in. Once you scroll down, you can select any of the UC transfer programs you might be interested in preparing for. UC Transfer Pathways is a single set of courses you can take to prepare for your major at any of the nine undergraduate campuses. It is only available for certain majors. TAG is a program that some UC campuses offer. If you apply for TAG and meet the specific TAG requirements for the campus you're applying to, then you will be guaranteed admission to that campus. Pathways Plus is a combination of Pathways and TAG. It is a way to simultaneously prepare for transfer at any UC campus while guaranteeing admission to one. Save, and let's move on to the next section. On this page, you can apply for transfer admission guarantee. As you can see, I tag to UCSB. And if I scroll down, there is a TAG checklist. You will have to agree to all the requirements in order to submit your TAG application. Remember, you can only tag to one campus, but you can apply to more during the regular admission period. The filing period for TAG is September 1st through the 30th. You need to make sure to submit your UC transfer application to that school during the regular filing period as well, which is November 1st through the 30th. Okay, that concludes my video. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.